Hey, thanks. Yeah, of course, the snow has stopped, but the impact on area roads, as we've mentioned, continues right now. Slush and ice taken over side streets and neighborhoods. News Channel 5's Kyle Horan has been monitoring the conditions for us. And Kyle, how long until these roads are all cleaned up? Well, Rory, the hope that is that it's tomorrow with the sun and the plowing that's going all night with the addition of salt. They hope to have things open tomorrow. Planning on going out on the roads? Be wary of the ice out there or you could end up like this. On Fern Avenue, cars were struggling with the ice. We saw multiple people sliding around. We would rather you stay home. Give us a little more time. If everybody will just kind of shelter in place, we will. Tomorrow we'll be out of this and it'll be a memory. NDOT has moved on from the major roadways and is starting to work on salting and plowing side streets. Sometimes it can't be avoided though. We're going to try to venture out just going straight to uh, Dickerson Pike and uh, hitting one of the grocery stores, pick up a couple of items and check out the roads and see how that is and come back. Henrietta Taylor and her grandson Antonio were clearing off the car to get out for the first time since the winter storm hit. As you can see, the hills are crazy up and down this way, so we're not going to try that way. We're just going to go straight and uh, just see Dickerson Road. Hopefully that's that's clear. They need some supplies, but in general, crews want people to stay home. If a truck hasn't gotten to a secondary route yet, it's going to still be pretty slick or ice covered. But hopefully once that truck or once we have a driver pass over it and treat it, it should be OK. Um, I just think that for most people, the tricky spot they'll have is to get to a main road. With a refreeze expected, what's turning into slush because of the sun will freeze again. Well, the good news is that crews are going to be going throughout the night. They expect another good day of sun melting the snow and ice, so that could be enough to get the roads open. Reporting live, Kyle Horan, News Channel 5.